Zina, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another What's in My Bag video. Today's bag is the Jujube Hobo Bee, which is a Tokidoki pattern. This is Sea Punk. It's an older pattern, but it is a fun one, and I do love the navy background and the nautical themed characters. Um, before we dive into the bag itself, I also have a bunch of Sea Punk, um, I don't know what you call them, charms or keychain things. Uh, you can put them on a phone chain, you can put them on a bag charm, you can do lots of things with them. I have one of each of the characters here and I'm deciding if I want to make a bag charm. Like maybe I'll make one with all the colors of the bag characters and whatnot and then just change out that bottom piece so I have the one charm with a changeable character. I think that's how I might do it. but. I'll let you know, I'll come back and see you when I'm done with it. But for now, I just have these adorable little characters and they're already on a little clip. So they're set up to easily be changeable. Um, you have the little puffer fish. This one reminds me of B3 from the Royal Caribbean Bingo um, mascot. Then this one is actually Hello Kitty, but look at this little pink octopus. He's not, he's totally perfect for this bag. He, she, it. And then there's a purple pirate octopus from Tokidoki. And that one actually is in the pattern, of course. All the Tokidoki ones are in the pattern. For example, here's Jelly Cat and here's the little Jelly Cat. Um, they're just hard plastic. This one is a little, it says love. It's a little message in a bottle with feet and eyes. I don't know if that one's on here. I mean, it must be in the pattern because these are the Sea Punk charms. They come from the blind boxes, by the way. Um, and then you have Paletto on a dolphin. And I'm not seeing that one jump out, but I'm sure it's on there. And then you have CMO, the seahorse. You've got Adios, the ninja on the shark. Then this one I think is a narwhal. And then you have the cute little mermaid with her seashell compact. So really cute ones. I think I'm just gonna do a changeable bag charm and then I can use all of them, but not all at once. Because my first thought was I'll put a few of them on a chain and have like a few characters. But then I thought, well, that's just bulk for the sake of bulk. I didn't want that. So anyways, like I said, more to come on that. But back to the hobo bee. Oh, that was just the charms falling on top of my bead box, sorry. Um, it does come with a, a shoulder strap, and I would say shoulder, not crossbody, because for me it's a little short to be a crossbody. It is, for shorter or smaller people, probably a good length. I wish that it had a little bit longer adjustability to it, because for me I have it full length, as long as it'll go, and it's great for shoulder bag. It's a, you know, I probably would shorten it just a little even, or just leave it like that. But if I want to wear it crossbody, which for a bag like this I often will, it's you know, it's, it's kind of hiked up. I like it to sit way down here at my hip, and this is just way too high for me. I could do it for a short minute hands-free, but definitely not optimum. So yeah, we'll come back to a solution I have at the end of this. Um, so this bag is their normal jujube material. It's um, kind of a plasticky nylon, if you will, but it's machine washable, it's stain resistant, it's waterproof, it's amazing. I do love all those features about it for sure. And this is a collaboration with Tokidoki. So you have the characters and you can see right on the tag there, Tokidoki and Jujube. Um, yeah, it's a fun pattern. So up front you have two pockets. This one that's open, that's a fleece lined pocket. That's where I put my cell phone. And it does zip, you can zip that pocket. There's two zippers back to back. I just tend to leave it unzipped and I just put my phone in there. I still have the 6S Plus. And then the second pocket has a big zipper pull. And inside there is a lot. This is your mommy pocket, if you will, it has organization. So I have the Sea Punk coin purse. I bought this on, I wanna say eBay, um, when I first started getting into Jujube and Tokidoki. And it's just such an adorable coin purse. And it has a bungee, which is a key clip or whatever, but I just put my coin purse on there. And then I put the coin purse in the mesh pocket. The other mesh pocket, I have this other Tokidoki wallet. Um, it's a little, 
just a bifold wallet with card like a card case I actually don't have my business cards in it at the moment but I put it in there to hold like my business cards on one side I have two types of business cards and then on the other side I was gonna put all my compliment cards that I've been getting from like Erin Condren and Lug and then you could just hand out those little feel-good cards to people throughout the day uh, if, if the situation presents itself and then the other thing I have in here is my wallet so this pocket as you can see it's just two mesh pockets the key bungee there is a privacy zipper pocket in here so right here what you're seeing is the sunglass or phone pocket behind I could zip that there is another privacy pocket here do I put anything in there no I don't put anything in there because it's kind of a little tedious to get into but you can see the pink zipper all the way across what I don't like about that pocket is that the bungee is right down the middle of it so to get into it you have to like hold this out of the way and then get into it. whatever I just I can't be bothered <laughs> so I just leave it like that and I leave the front pocket so this is the wallet the matching wallet in c-punk it's a trifold type wallet so you can see there yep I got my military ID right in the middle a bunch of cards um, it has six card slots on this side three and three plus a big slot behind it the middle has one two three four five six seven card slots the first front one is your clear id and it does have the cutout for easy access this side has six more card slots three and three and then it has a big gusseted cash drawer so that's why i put my my dollar bills there and then i put receipts and other things over there so it's a nice trifold wallet. It is a snap closure on it. And then on the back, it has a coin thing. And it's unusual the way it's set up. You have that flat, smooth back. And then in between, you have the little zipper. And it zips around the bend. So it's gusseted on both sides. It opens up really nicely for your coins or other things. Um, yeah, so it's kind of an interesting construction. But it works great, and it's a slicky material. So it does slide right in that pocket very nicely. And then I just keep that front pocket closed. And that allows me to get the phone in and out. Really easy access. It has on both sides a nice big pocket. It is elasticized on the top. So you can put water bottles. You can put your phone. Um, that is another great, oops, <laughs> great place to put the phone for quick access. Right off the end of the bag. It's a deep pocket as you can see. So my 6S Plus just barely sticks up which is the perfect height to just grab it out. So that is another place, like I'll put my phone here, for example, and I'll put my sunglasses there, or vice versa. I'll put this here, and I'll sometimes put my sunglasses there for easy access. Depends on what's going on. Um, on here, the strap, the way it is on there, it, it's got multiple pieces. This is the adjustment. It adjusts on both sides. So both sides can adjust up, and it shortens it so you know you can be symmetrical or you can be offset and then this um, pad doesn't actually move it's there so if you get it off center like if you adjust only one side you can end up with the padding off to one side it's kind of silly um, so yeah that is kind of interesting and one of the things I don't like about this strap um, it does have a sort of no slip grip on the back I think that does work okay um, and it is comfortable to carry it as a shoulder bag it's very comfortable um, I tend to not like to carry a bag just on my shoulder unless it's just for a short time. That's just me. Um, but the rings on here, it is big enough to put a ring through, so I have a couple bag charms. I put my Vera Bradley Butterfly, <laughs> I know it's rose gold, that doesn't match, and thematically it kind of does and doesn't, um, but it's my chapstick holder. <laughs> so <laughs> it's got my EOS lip balm in there, it's just got an elastic on the back, so that's why I'm using it anyways. I think the navy matches close enough, I don't care. And then I have my Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer, which thematically matches nicely, and I think it does, you know, kind of go with that. So I just left those hanging outside. On the back of the bag, you have one more pocket. It is a slip all the way across. It has a zipper, I mean, um, a snap in the middle, no zipper. And in here, I just have a strap. This is the woven strap from GGB, and this one came out with um, Donatello's Sweet Shop 2.0, I think it was. And it has this faux leather tab with the embellishments and the emboss or the uh, stamped name in there. 
This one is fully adjustable and it is longer. On the other end, it has a star for GGB. So this one I have right now, I have it adjusted to full length and it is silver hardware, so that's nice because it matches the bag. But look at the colors on this. I think that the beauty of a strap like this is you get multiple different colors and I think these colors pull out all the same colors in the pattern, so it totally works. So if I do decide to take this off, which you can, then I can put this one on. And I did a test, you know, just hooked it on to see if it would be long enough and or comfortable and whatnot. And so let me show you how that works. I haven't even taken the other one off, but I can put this one on and here the bag sits nice and low on my hip where I like it. Now even maybe would raise it up just a tad, but there it is nicely on the hip, very comfortable. You know, it's a big bag, so I don't want it riding up here. My arm would be like walking like that. So for me, I can, I can reach the bottom of the bag in any pocket. So that's for me the perfect height that's nice and low. Yeah, so I think I might do that. Now, the cool thing is I could put that strap on and off when I want to go crossbody. So I could just pop it right back off again. And then I can keep the matching strap on there all the time. I don't have to take it off to use the other, which I, I'm kind of glad about because this one's set for crossbody. So rather than having to adjust the strap length every time I want to change my configuration to carry, I could just keep this one folded up in that back pocket. It's secure. It's not eating up bag space that I need. It's just there. And I can just shift. So I might just leave it like that for now. <laughs> All right. Now let's go to the inside of the bag. It has this nice big Tokidoki Jujube zipper pull. Nice smooth zippers. The inside, just like uh, you might have caught a glimpse already, is kind of a bright white and pink striped. There is a privacy zipper on the back, all the way across. And inside that pocket, I just have my um, wipe pouch, Tokidoki space place, alcohol wipes. Um, I just showed these recently in a video, but just you know, in case I need to wipe something off or like coming out of the dog park, uh, sanitize my hands, stuff like that. And I put that in the privacy pocket. Fits really nicely and it's nice and flat. And out of the way. Now, on the back, there are two mesh elastic pockets. In the one pocket, I have my Vera Bradley manicure kit. This one is Fruit Grove, I think something like that, Fruit Grove, with the pinks and blues, I think that color-wise <laughs> matches. And yeah, that's it that's in that pocket. The other pocket, I have my Slim Journal and Holiday Owls. Again, I just kind of kept it because size and color-wise, it fit. I just always like to have a notebook in my pocket. And then a pen that's a black ink, red ink, and a pencil, my space pen. And then I have this nifty little custom pouch this again, when I was first ordering, um, I actually was ordering some Camp Toki stuff and the seller, uh, anyways, they ended up giving me a gift with it and it was just the loveliest thing. And I think this pouch is totally adorable. It's small, which is good and bad because it's almost too small, but it's perfect size for what I'm using it for. And it is sea punk, so it is the matching pattern. It has this little tab on it, which gives you a couple characters, which is cool. You got the little scuba guy on the back. But it also is a nice grab tab, so when I put it in that pocket, I can just grab that tab and pull it out. It's kind of nifty, but there you go. And then a zipper open in here. I just have my Listerine thingies, the breath strips, and then I have my dental floss toothpicks. So it's kind of like my oral care pouch that's right there and convenient in that pocket. And then put all that back the pen is just clipped on the side so those are the two front pockets on the front of the bag there is another mesh elastic pocket and there is a zipper pocket um, so it's half and half the zipper pocket has in it uh, my tech stuff so I've got my screen wiper I've got my charging cord and my my battery that's it and on the daily, I don't normally need that. It's when I'm traveling, it's really a bigger factor, but I can charge in the car and do regular stuff. In the other elastic pocket is just my wired headphones in their case. Now, right down the middle, 
This bag, as you can see it on the base of it, it has a really wide base. This bag uh, holds a ton and it is big enough to use for um, a baby diaper bag, maybe a toddler, you know, throw a couple of small diapers in there and whatnot and have supplies. I don't use it for any of that, but I think it still makes a wonderful purse. And even with me, I like to carry a lot of crap, there's plenty of room and space to spare. So there's my key thing. I have on here my shopping tag, bag tarm from Vera, my big old truck key, my house keys, mail keys, medical alert thing. I mean, each of those are like individual group. Like if I wanna take that off or house keys, mail keys, take each piece off individually or leave it all together. So that's why I have it on the carabiner. And then this other piece right here, I just added a keychain because I don't need a keychain. It's bulky enough already, but I just, I love it. And this one is Kawaii Carnival actually, but it brought out the Tokidoki. It's the only Tokidoki keychain I have, like really. And it's rose gold, so that doesn't match, but it's cute. It has this little star charm on it and everything. So I just really like it. It has the quick connect and I just put it right on there. So yeah, I could be hands-free. I could take this and put it on my truck key only. That's usually what I take off, but there. And then, because they're thrown in the bottom of my bag, it makes it really easy to find them. Just grab for any of that bulky stuff. And I kind of stand up the strap right in the corner, so I don't even have to reach way down. I just go right to the corner, grab that strap, and I can pull out my keys. The other pieces I have in here, three things. I have a Vera Bradley sunglass case or eyeglass case. This is soft-sided, but it has a little bit of rigidity to it. You know, I mean, it's got some structure and has that quick opening. And in here, I just have a pair of sunglasses. These are art poppy. But again, I thought the blues and pinks, whatever, it goes. And this is Haymarket Paisley, the pattern. But again, I know it's Paisley and Toki Doki, but you know, to me, that kind of does match, actually. <laughs> because I'm not super picky, it, it goes good enough. And then I have the medium and small set pieces from the B set, and I do have the large one, but I'm not using it. In the small one, I have a few things. I have the glucose tabs, I have some Bath & Body Works lotion, I have some Aleve and some Tums just in case. I usually carry them around and never need them, but always better to have them. And that's it, really. This you can put the wrist up strap on and stuff. I didn't bother, I just left it as is, right in the bottom of the bag. And then this medium set piece, oops, it's a one side zipper. In here I have lots of, um, I would say edibles, nothing like, uh, no CBD or anything like that. But I have um, two kinds of gum, I have some um, mints, I have two kinds of Altoids, and then I have a whole bunch of these little um, ginger chews. Um, I guess you could use them for nausea. Some people do, like ginger, but these are just good. They're Mandarin Orange Ginger. Um, Prince of Peace is the brand. I don't know. I found them at the commissary, and they're so good. So if you're just going along, you want to get like a sweet tooth or something, just one of these, and it kind of gives you a nice taste. Um, and then I have just some almonds, a little snack on the go, 100 calorie pack, whole natural almonds. You never know. Try not to get off track, so give myself some outs that I have with me all the time. And that is what's in my bag. So those those three things basically fit, well, that's not in there now, I just pushed it out. So three pouches right along the bottom. It looks kind of packed, but they're all nicely, easily spaced in there. And nothing has to be moved to get to other things, so I love that. And then it has plenty more room for lots of more things. I don't need to carry it just to carry it, so. That's what I'm gonna go with. And that's what's in my bag. This is the Juju Bee Hobo Bee in Sea Punk Tokidoki. Have a great day. Bye for now.